Hello and welcome. I am Ziner and we are back again. And as you can see, I have the nether portal completed. I filled in all this lava after I did that because it was annoying. I planted the melons. And this is just a little trash hole. I collected some coal. And... Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't do this. Somebody's going to hate me. Oh, as you can see, I smelted up all the gold, turned two sets of them into blocks, and then I have this golden apple, which I figured I would wait for you guys to be here before I ate. So, that puts this up to five and a half. Now, I need laser rods obviously that's why I made that and there's only one safe way I'm gonna be able to get a blaze rod well, that's interesting oh and I smelted up the glass bottles which I made enough 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 so that way I could also whoops slight mistake Oh, right. I don't... Oh, I don't need the bucket of lava on my bar. I don't need the melon seeds there either. I know what I'm doing, I swear. Oh, I don't have enough inventory space. Lord. Uh... Put these there for now. I don't want to get rid of them. But I need the inventory space. Hey, melon. One, two, three... Now, oops, I am clicked on the completely wrong thing. Apparently clicked on the workbench through the brewing stand. Now, this is apparently fail alchemy with Zinder. But, uh, hmm. Oh, give me that melon. Now, I don't have a whole lot of inventory space because I keep on hoarding things. Guess we can worry about pumpkins later. Uh, I don't want to just get rid of it. Ooh. Ooh. Must be daylight out if he's teleporting. Um, yeah, it's definitely day, but I don't feel like going out there at the moment. So... I've placed a lot of torches around here because I'm being extremely careful. I really don't want to make the potions yet. At least not all of them. So I think I'll do that though. One glistering melon. I'm not going to have enough inventory space for them. I'm going to have to start ditching things in my trash can. Get rid of the bones. Oh, right. That was the issue why I didn't light the portal. I don't have any gravel, which means I don't have any flint. And I made an extra pick. Just because my diamond one is getting really low. Suppose I don't need this second bucket anymore. I've made two nether portals now. I don't know if this spider is tracking me. Oh. Yeah, he's definitely tracking me. Okay. Now. I want to make it very obvious where I built this nether portal. So. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to end up back here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to come out the other portal. That's basically the the point I'm going with here. But, uh... Ooh, I wonder if that cobblestone's still down in that hole. Because I am about out of cobblestone now. There. It's a cobblestone box. Now, 
I realize I had just thrown away coal that I could have now used to make torches. I know, it's okay. Torches of which I'm using very many of. Now, I need to go find some gravel. Right. I'm also going to grab these. I want a shovel. Should I should make two shovels? It's going to be a lot of gravel. I shouldn't do this. I'm going to end up throwing one of them away. I guarantee it. Now, I will leave those there for the moment. Partly because I don't have the inventory space. I don't want to get rid of these eggs because I am going to want to make a chicken farm before I go to the the end. Because I'm going to want a lot of arrows. That or a lot of snowballs. Or both. But I might as well just make arrows because it's a lot easier to predict their trajectory and they're a lot more likely to go farther. Chicken. Egg. Alright, egg stacked to 16. So I have a full stack. Who knew finding gravel could be so randomly difficult when you actually want it? See, I don't want to just dig around where I was at and hope I found find some. I want gravel and I don't want to have to randomly dig around for it. But I am using I used to be running video settings like I had my NVIDIA control panel set up so that way I would have extreme amounts of anti-aliasing and any anisotropic filtering on but I don't have that I forgot about that because I backtracked my drivers because I was using beta ones I was worried that was causing me some issues with Diablo 3 so, which it hasn't changed anything, but I told it to, you know, go ahead and clear out all of the graphic settings. So, unfortunately, I forgot to turn those on. So, if this, uh, the game looks like crap this episode, I apologize. But I'm sure that once it's converted and downsampled, not downsampled, but downsized and stuff, nobody's going to notice. Hmm... I just don't want to venture too far from the little thing over there, but I want gravel. I mean, I could probably go back into the little tundra thing. I built it on the edge of the desert, so it would make it easy to find. Both the, uh, the mineshaft tunnel and the uh, portal. They're both built on the edge of the desert. One of them's in the tundra biome though, or taiga, or snow, or whatever you want to call it. The biome that has snow in it. And... The only downside to my little bars I got going on here is I can't really tell my exact food level. So I'm going to periodically waste food, no matter how hard I try. That could have been disastrous. Spiral staircase. Okay, there's bound to be some gravel on the spiral staircase. Why are you not in the right place, shovel? Why is this staircase so dark? Ha! Ah, gravel! I think I got a flint already. Yeah, I definitely did. Bone meal, go away. I don't necessarily need the gravel, but I'm going to keep it anyway. Just in case. Although, with any luck, I will get enough flint from this. Make the arrows and a flint and steel. And then I'll end up just throwing the gravel away anyhow.
Hmm. Right. Seven. Okay. One for the flint and steel, which I'll unfortunately have to take with me into the nether. This episode is going to be about getting blaze rods. Plenty of them. I don't believe I destroyed that blaze spawner, did I? I hope not. But I know there is at least one other one nearby, so... I've got a decent amount of arrows, and I'm going to make more. Exactly how far is this from my portal? Pretty much within eyesight. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is I don't want to take everything that I have with me in here, but I don't want to get rid of anything I have either. So, I'm in a small predicament about that. And I don't want to leave anything that I want here because I may never find it. Because I have no idea where the portal came out and I'm not using the coordinates. But I'm going to... I'll probably leave the workbench here just to keep an inventory space free. I'll probably dump the furnaces as well. In case I do find this place, I'm going to stash some things that I'm going to want. I'm not going to want that hoe. And I should just get rid of that shovel because it's pointless. Not pointless, but... You know what I mean. I got melon seeds. Of course, so I could just farm up a bunch of melon, but then I have to make sure I don't eat it all. Then again, I could get rid of the melon I have, but I think I'll just get some seeds. Like that. And I'll convert the rest of these melons into seeds. Like that. And then I'll have more melon seeds than I could ever possibly want. Now, we will make three more bottles of water. That's one thing I really want. I want to be able to shift-click bottles into here. Now, I'm not going to use these right away. Crap, I need to kill some creepers. I guess I technically don't. Oh, there goes the last of my cobblestone. I am going to need to get glowstone and bump up the level of these potions, but I really wanted... I remember why I had the gunpowder now, so I could turn them into splash potions. Because it's a lot easier to just splash it on the ground to heal yourself, but... I suppose it's of no major consequence. Just gathering some cobblestone that I will no doubt need in the nether. I don't have the glowstone to bump up those potions at the moment. I forgot to grab that last time. And I'm definitely going to need blocks if I want to go for that, so... I don't need these. Grab these. Grab that. Do do Actually, what am I doing? Do... Okay, yeah, okay. 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 I'll make the last one to a torch just for good measure. Whoops. Which I will do with one more piece of coal, just so that way I have a full stack of coal on me. And this flint is for a flint and steel to light the portal. 
I did a pretty good job. I cleared up my inventory, I think. For the most part. I have nine enchanting levels. Well, nine levels. So I'm going to enchant this with five, because I can. Ooh, nice. Unbreaking. And this with four? Because why not? Efficiency for whatever purpose. There we go. And there we go. Okay, just making sure I've got everything I could possibly need, which I don't. Uh, if I got the little bit of extra space, I might as well bring it with me, right? Now, hopefully we won't just go in here to die. Hopefully we come out the same portal we went in. Yes! Beautiful. Not beautiful. Stay still. Okay, he's apparently so far away, I'm not going to be able to do that. He's not. Did I get him? Okay, I got him. What about the other one? Is he still way out there? Okay, he's still way out there. Is there any easy access glow stuff? There doesn't appear to be easy access anything, for that matter. Except for blazes. Hmm. I still haven't done anything to the texture of this. Wow, there's a lot of... There's a lot of nether fortress. But well, up we go. Now, we'll be able to, ex if we can find a piece of another fortress that goes into the wall, we'll likely find some glowstone in there, because that's where I always normally end up finding some. Hey, I didn't take all of it, I left some. Nice. Very nice. Uh, up here? Follow the torches. I suppose that's the easiest way, right? Okay, I bridged that gap. There's the blaze spawner. I don't remember if I destroyed it. You're going to put this on the bar. And I definitely did not destroy it. This will last for eight minutes. Just looked at the clock. why I should not be standing up there. How did I just get that achievement? Oh, nice shot. Yes! Blazes. Should not be standing up there. I don't want to get hit again. Okay. I need more than one. Blazer rod, not blazes. I know this isn't exactly going to be the most entertaining eight minutes, but I have only one of this potion, so I'm going to be making use of it. Why you gotta do me like that? Okay, there's a blaze rod. Oh, don't do this to me. Ah. 
Ah. Neither of them dropped a blaze rod, so nobody cares about them anyhow. I'm gonna need more than two. Probably gonna need like ten. Come on. I believe I saw a blaze rod, but it fell down, so... Oh, stop hitting me! Uh. Okay, I need to find easy access glowstone. Or at least easier access. Oh, the blaze spot there. Look at all that glowstone. It is so far up there. Like, this is the worst spawn in the world to be looking for glowstone. Best spawn in the world if you're looking for blazes, though. If you're wondering, I'm not putting these down for light because I'm not too concerned about light. I'm putting these torches down so I can see how to get back. And yes, I realize I'm wasting my fire resistance potion. Whoa, don't do that to me. But to be honest, I don't care. No, I don't want to build with that. Oh, might as well use the nether brick. Well, there's gravel. Glowstone, glowstone, where art thou, glowstone? I do not see a single piece of even reasonably accessible glowstone in this entire place. spot there. I hate to do this. Yeah, see, it doesn't restore anywhere near as much as it would if it was increased. And I don't want to keep using arrows on blazes. So... So I'm not. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do though. Here shortly. Cause if I keep sprinting around, I'm gonna need food. I'm gonna have to exit back out and I'm gonna have to go find food. None of this glowstone is accessible enough. I don't have the food to scroll around. Okay, I have enough for 12 at the moment. Uh, 12 Ender Eyes. I believe it's a 2 conversion. Yes. Uh, 12 is not going to be enough. 
but it's all I've got at the moment. So I'm going to have to go with it. Partly because I need food. And I need it very badly. Put these down. Because... Well, because... Oh, oh. You know, in multiplayer, if you kill the gas, the orbs disappear. I had to check and see if he dropped a gold. I had to know. Don't push me off, please. So that looks to be the closest thing to easy access glowstone that I see currently. And that's not easy enough access for me to even want to consider going for it. But I will take some more of that. Whatever, I might as well take all of it. I'll know when I'm getting really low and be smart enough to stop and go grow it. But 21, that'll probably last me through the entire rest of the series. But... Here's my staircase. I'm probably going to go look for more cows just because beef and pork are some of the absolute best foods in the game. Come on, man. Get the lava. Oh, I missed. Oh, there goes a rain of experience straight into the lava. There's some glowstone. There's no way I'm ever going to be able to access that, though. Whoa. Now, oh, come on. Uh, I do not still have it, so I need to be careful. Okay, appears to be going away. I did not want another egg. Tell you what, the last thing I want to die from in this series is starvation. I end up dying from starvation somehow, I will cry. See, I really need to get across that. For meat. I'm going to not sprint, I'm just gonna carefully walk. Because I want to get over there. That glowstone looks like it should be possible to get without too much work. The only problem is I have no real way of accessing it that easily and guaranteed to get the glowstone. Excuse me, good sir. Okay, the glowstone is down there. That's a little hole. Right down through here. Okay, that's a good sign. That, however, is not. This is why I brought cobble. most dangerous thing ever.
Okay. Three. Getting way too brave. It's just time to shoot him in the face. Again. Okay, that fireball that I like deflected at the last second scared the hell out of me. And that is why you just sometimes randomly flail about wildly. You never know when you might save yourself. But, uh, looks like hunting for food It's going to have to wait until next time because we're getting very close to done with this episode. It's going to be a lot of Enderman farming in the future. Now I'm going to need nine for the end portal. And I have the stuff to make twelve, which means that I basically should come back here and farm some more blaze powder at some point. Hey look, it's the chest of the spider eye and a cactus. Now. Oops. First thing we are going to do right now is we are going to glowstone it. This is a bit of a waste of a glowstone, but I did bring 16 powder, which 16 powder is enough to make me, I believe, 48 of these. So I'm not on any shortage of that. Now that we've got instant health too, let's be full health. Oh, yeah. Feeling like a boss now. That looks dangerous. That also looks dangerous. Don't worry, guys. Crisis averted. It appears to also be getting nighttime. filling in my roof here. Hmm. Ah, beautiful sunset. Now let's go back inside and stop risking our life for stupid reasons. Okay, so... Apparently I left a furnace here. That's uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. We're back to full health. We got our melons. We got potions. We got water. We got blaze powder. All we need to do is we're gonna have to go back in and get more blaze powder soon. But I need to find more cows and get food, and that's gonna be first priority for the next episode. But for this episode, we're calling it done. So I will see you guys next.